Good evening, Sister Sembrunis. And thank you for joining us this evening as we begin the Triduum. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. So now to prepare ourselves for this celebration, let us pause for a moment and think of the mercy and goodness of God. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. of time you revealed your love in Jesus the Lord. On the eve of his death, as a sign of your covenant, he washed the feet of his disciples and gave himself as food and drink. Give us life at this sacred banquet and joy in humble service, that bound to Christ in all things we may pass over from this world to your kingdom where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. This A reading from the book of Exodus. 
The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month is to be the first of all the others for you, the first month of your year. Speak to the whole community of Israel and say, On the tenth day of this month, each man must take an animal from the flock, one for each family, one animal for each household. If a household is too small to eat the animal, a man must join with his neighbour, the nearest to his house, as the number of persons requires. You must take into account what each can eat in deciding the number for each for the animal. It must be an animal without blemish, a male one year old. You must take it from either sheep or goats. You must keep it till the fourteenth day of the month, when the whole assembly of the community of Israel shall slaughter it between the two evenings. Some of the blood must then be taken and put on the two doorposts and the lintel of the houses where it is eaten. That night, the flesh is to be eaten, roasted over the fire. It must be eaten with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. You shall eat it like this, with a girdle around your waist, sandals on your feet, a staff in your hand. You shall eat it hastily. It is a Passover in honour of the Lord. That night, I will go through the land of Egypt and strike down the firstborn in the land of Egypt, man and beast alike. And I shall deal out punishment to all the gods of Egypt. I am the Lord. <coughs> the blood shall serve it to mark the houses that you live in. When I see the blood, I will pass over you, and you shall escape the destroying plague when I strike the land of Egypt. This day is to be a day of remembrance for you, and you must celebrate it as a feast in the Lord's honour. For all generations, you are to declare it a day of festival. Forever. The word of the Lord. Amen. The response to the song. The blessing cup that we bless is a communion with the blood of Christ. The blessing cup that we bless is a communion with the blood of Christ. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. The blessing cup that we bless is a communion with the blood of Christ. O oh, precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant and I, you have loosened my bonds. The blessing cup that we bless is a communion with the blood of Christ. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his peoples. The blessing cup that we bless is a communion with the blood of Christ. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. This is what I have received from the Lord and in turn passed on to you, that on the same night that he was betrayed, the Lord Jesus took some bread and thanked God for it and broke it. And he said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this as a memorial of me. In the same way, he took the cup after supper and said, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Whenever you drink it, do this as a memorial of me. Until the Lord comes, therefore, every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are proclaiming his death. This is the word of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I give you a new commandment. Love one another just as I have loved you, says the Lord. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. It was just before Passover festival. Jesus knew that the hour had come for him to leave this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The evening meal was in progress, and the devil had already prompted Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, to betray Jesus. Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God. So he got up from the meal, took off his outer clothing, and wrapped a towel around his waist. He poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with the towel that was wrapped around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus replied, You do not realize now what I am doing, but later you will understand. No, said Peter, you shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no part with me. Then, Lord, Simon Peter replied, Not just my feet, but my hands and my head as well. Jesus answered, Those who have had a bath need only to wash their feet. Their whole body is clean, and you are clean, though not every one of you. For he knew who was going to betray him, and that was why he said, Not every one is clean. When he had finished washing their feet, he put on his clothes and returned to his place. Do you understand what I have done for you? He asked them. You call me teacher and Lord, and rightly so, for that is what I am. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed you also should wash one another's feet. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. The Gospel of the Lord. <laughs> Just a few lines since the symbols itself will speak to us this evening. This evening, Pope Francis was at Castle de Marimo juvenile plantation. In other words, he went to uh, visit people in a prison. And in his homily given there, he mentioned the importance of humility and service. As Pope Francis reminded, humility and service were something that back in that time, during Jesus' time, would have been carried out by a slave by washing the feet of people. The Pope explained how life would be so beautiful if we were to imitate this gesture and spirit in our daily lives, helping one another rather than following worldly ways of cheating or taking advantage of each other. And by, by washing the feet, he said, sometimes we can be discouraged or ashamed of what we hold inside. And he said, Jesus knows all about us and loves us just as the way we are. The Pope said we should never be frightened by our weaknesses and be assured that the Lord wishes to accompany us on our journey, to take us by the hand so that life is not so hard for us.
every Mass, but especially on this night, we celebrate the Last Supper. Jesus' Last Supper with his disciples, where he created Eucharist. He called us to do this in memory of him. We will imitate Jesus' desire to show his love and his service as he washed the feet of his disciples, calling us to do as he has done. Tonight, we will take time to wash each other's hands and to dry them, to do as Jesus has done, a symbol of the call for us to love one another as he loves us to be of service to one another, to respect every person as the beloved of God. We will wash and dry each other's hands and see the other as the beloved of God. In a moment, we will be invited to come forward and three of us will have our hands washed first and then we will take over washing the hand of the next person. So once you come and have your hands washed, you will then wash the hands of the person who follows after. We invite you to take your time with this, and as we say, to see the other as the beloved.
Thank you.
Please stand for the bidding prayers. Jesus said, the new commandment I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you. To show our love for all God's creation, let us pray now for the church and for the world. On the night he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus Christ washed his disciples' feet. We commit ourselves to follow the example of love and service. On this night, he prayed for his disciples to be one. We pray for the unity of the church. On this night, he prayed for those who were to believe through their message. We pray for the mission of the church. On this night, he gave us the Eucharist. We pray for our Eucharistic ministers, all those who they minister to, and those preparing to receive his blood and his body. On this night, he commanded them to love, but he suffered rejection himself. We pray for the rejected and the unloved. On this night, he reminded them that if the world hated them, it hated him first. We pray for those who are persecuted for their faith. On this night, he laid down his life for us. We pray for the holy souls, that they may take up the new life of his resurrection. We pray with Mary, Mother of the Church. Hail, Hail Mary, Lord, praise the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now, as we are our and Let us pray for a moment in silence. Lord God, your Son taught us that what we do for the least of our brethren, we do also for him. Give us the will to be the servant of others, as he was the servant of all and gave up his life and died for us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Oh 
My sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Lord God, make us worthy to celebrate this holy Eucharist, for as often as this sacrifice is offered in remembrance of your Son, the work of our redemption is accomplished. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. He is the true and eternal priest who established this unending sacrifice. He offered himself as a victim for our deliverance and taught us to make this offering in his memory. As we eat his body, which he gave for us, we grow in strength. As we drink his blood, which he poured out for us, we are washed clean. Now with the angels and archangels and the whole company of heaven, we sing the unending hymn of your praise. Holy, holy, we come to you, Father, with praise and thanksgiving through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him we ask you to accept and bless these gifts we offer you in sacrifice. We offer them for your holy Catholic Church. Watch over it, over it Lord, and guide it. Grant it peace and unity throughout the world. We offer them for Francis our Pope, Malcolm our Bishop, and for all who hold and teach the Catholic faith that come to us from the Apostles. Remember, Lord, your people, especially those for whom we now pray. Remember all of us gathered here before you. You know how firmly we believe in you and dedicate ourselves to you. We offer you this sacrifice of praise for ourselves and those who are dear to us. We pray to you, our living and true God, for our well-being and redemption. In union with the whole church, we celebrate that night when Jesus Christ our Lord was betrayed for us. We honor Mary, the ever virgin mother of Jesus Christ our Lord and God. We honor Joseph, her husband, the apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude. We honor Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus. Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogomus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all the saints. May their merits and prayers gain us your constant help and protection. 
Father, I accept this offering from your whole family in memory of the day when Jesus Christ our Lord gave the mysteries of his body and blood for his disciples to celebrate. Grant us your peace in this life, save us from final damnation, and count us among those you have chosen. Bless and approve our offering, make it acceptable to you, an offering in spirit and in truth. Let it become for us the body and blood of Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord. The day before he suffered to save us all, that is today, he took bread in his sacred hands, looking up to heaven, to you his almighty Father. He gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. And when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant should be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, Father, we celebrate the memory of Christ, your Son. We, your people and your ministers, recall his passion, his resurrection from the dead, and his ascension into glory. And from the many gifts you have given us, we offer to you, God of glory and majesty, this holy and perfect sacrifice, the bread of life and the cup of eternal salvation. Look with favor on these offerings and accept them as once you accepted the gifts of your servant Abel, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the bread and wine offered by your priest Melchizedek. Almighty God, we pray that your angel may take this sacrifice to your altar in heaven, then as we receive from this altar the sacred body and blood of your Son, let us be filled with your grace and blessing. Remember, Lord, those who have died and have gone before us marked with the sign of faith, especially those for whom we now pray. May these and all who sleep in Christ find in your presence light, happiness, and peace. For ourselves too, we ask some share in the fellowship of the apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcinius, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all the saints. Though we are sinners, we trust in your mercy and love. Do not consider what we truly deserve, but grant us your forgiveness. Through Christ our Lord, you give us all these gifts. You fill them with life and goodness. You bless them and make them holy. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us say the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Shall God
my friends. The Lord be with you. God's peace go with you wherever you go. Shalom, my friends. In a world of indifference, let us make a difference. Shalom, my friends. Shalom, my friends. The Lord be with you. God's peace go with you wherever you go. Shalom, my friends, in a world of indifference, let us make the difference. Shalom, my friends, shalom, my friends. Sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Almighty God, the supper that your son left us this night sustains our life on earth. Grant that our hunger may be fully satisfied in the everlasting banquet of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord.